In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an Easter Bunny out of some relatively unusual Dollar Tree items. So if you want to learn how to make it, well, then follow me. What's up, Glue Dots? I'm Elaine the Midnight Crafter. Well, I know it's a bit early, I really do, and I'm kind of going against the grain of my natural, what I usually do. We haven't even hit Valentine's Day yet, and I'm doing an Easter DIY. So typically what happens to me is Easter sneaks up on me because I am Greek Orthodox, and it usually is far after the Catholic Easter, or um, I don't even know what it's called. We just have always called it American Easter, which I, I guess that's not completely true. But anyway, it typically sneaks up on me and I don't even get a chance to do Easter DIYs. So I'm doing this one early and also because I'm just really excited about it and I want to show it to you. It was brought to me by Liz Williams and I just thought it was amazing and I asked her if she would mind if I shared it with the rest of you and she was happy to have it shared and is really looking forward to seeing the video. So Liz, thank you so much for this idea. I love it. Well, before we get to it, you know I would love to have you join our Glue Dot family by hitting the subscribe button right there down below. And then don't forget to hit that bell next to it. That usually will inform you every time I upload new videos. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like my video and a thumbs up for Liz. <laughs> and also leave me a comment down below because it's, it's great to hear from you. Don't forget to check the description box down below because that's where you will find a list of all the items needed for this project. Also a link to enter to win a really cute bling owl keychain and I do that drawing the first of every month and any links to join and follow me on social media. So without much more chit chat about this, I'm excited to show it to you. You guys can get crafting and have it ready for Easter. So <laughs> let's do it. So this isn't a very complicated project. So um, there's gonna be two different types that we can make. And I, I showed you in the picture um, two different styles. I'm gonna be making the one with the moss and I didn't wanna be making two of them, but I'm gonna make the one with the moss and I will kind of walk you through on how to make the other one. One of the things we need to do, so we have our, these are the Betty Crocker strainers from Dollar Tree. And all I did, it's very easy to do, is cut this little extra piece off here. It cuts off really easily. It's no big deal at all. So that's one thing to prep. And we have our two bowls, and these were in the uh, kind of the plasticky section, wedding section, party section. These were in the kitchen section. And we also have our bunny. So the only part of our bunny that we're gonna be using is the ears. We're gonna remove the ears by getting in there and cutting right here at the base of each of the ears, but I'm leaving on the, this part here. Okay, so we have this. And we're gonna do that with both ears, and then what we're gonna be doing is removing all of this extra tinsel, but you do want to keep the cardboard piece on there, so don't remove that cardboard piece. So you should end up with two pieces just like this. So save this piece here because I was looking at it and it has, it's very dimensional. It would make a great little piece for fall decor for a pumpkin or something like that. So my next steps, all I did was took my two clear bowls and put hot glue all the way around and glued them together. And I did the same with my two Betty Crocker um, strainers. <laughs> And these two are gonna get put together. Now it's a little hard for me to show you here on camera, but we're gonna be gluing these two together as well. And we're starting to get the shape of our bunny. Once you have these put together, we're just gonna set these aside for a few minutes and we're gonna work on our bunny ears. So what I'm gonna be doing here with the bunny ears is we're going to be covering them in moss, but we're also going to be using this center part to have a little bit of pink. And what I'm using for that is these German status flowers that I got at Dollar Tree. There was a different color too, but I really, really like this darker, deeper, richer pink. Remove these from the stems so they're a little easier to work with, and then you can just 
you know, always save these kind of things because you never know when you're going to need the wire or the leaves or whatever. So you can see how crafters become hoarders, right? Because nothing is ever what it was meant to be. So I have a funny story about that, by the way. I had a, I hired an organizer to come and help me because I was a little overwhelmed with my garage and stuff. So she came over and I had all my Dollar Tree stuff out there. And so she started trying to separate things into kind of um, organize them. So she said, oh, okay, this is a windshield screen for a car. So I'm gonna put that with car stuff. And I said, oh, well, that's actually gonna be a project. I'm gonna cut that up and make it into something. She goes, oh, okay, so she set that aside. So then she picked up a glass candlestick or something. So she says, oh, okay, this is a houseware item. And I said, well, not exactly, because I'm gonna attach something on that. So she was having a really hard time with me because then she found other items that were garden things and she thought that was garden and I said, no. So I finally told her, you know, I think the best thing to do is separate into plastic items, glass items, metal items, and miscellaneous because that's the only way. <laughs> so the poor lady was very confused. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we're gonna be doing now is cutting off these flowers here, and we're gonna be gluing them into this interior part of our little bunny ears. <laughs> what a goober I am. Okay, you know what, you guys, you don't have to cut them off. They actually pull right off of the base here. So just go ahead and pull them off. So once you get enough of your flowers, you're going to go ahead and we're going to be gluing those inside this whole section here. And don't worry that they stand up because your moss is going to be all around there as well. And that is going to also stick up to an extent. So I'm not taking it all the way to the edge, but I am kind of leaving a little bit of space because I want the moss to kind of wrap around. You know how bunny ear is and the center is more pink and the, well, I, I don't know, a real bunny ear, but anyway, our little um, craft bunnies don't usually have the pink all the way out to the edges. So whatever you want to do, <laughs> here's what we're wanting it to look like. So you see that there's still a little bit around the edge here and we are gonna wanna keep this part empty here on the bottom because this is part we're gonna be gluing onto the top of the bowls for the ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this other one here. Okay, so here's what I have so far, and this actually was two bunches of these German status flowers from Dollar Tree. So just know that you are probably gonna need three bunches in order to finish the two sets of ears. Okay, so while we're already working on the ears, we may as well continue. Now, I did not buy this green moss at Dollar Tree. They do have an even nicer, brighter colored green moss at Dollar Tree, but I already had this and I really wanna use up what I have. So you may wanna do this outside, um, depending on where you are in the country and what the weather's like. <laughs> We're gonna be basically taking this moss and attaching it entirely to cover this whole ear. So start, start in the back and just add your hot glue and then press your moss on there. Now we are gonna be also making sure that it comes around onto the front. So just keep adding glue until you have it all stuck on there. I'm gonna come around just a little bit to show you how I'm gonna do the front. The same, basically, same idea. Just, you wanna cover up that front part too around those flowers and then cover up any of the sides. So basically just get this all covered in the moss and so that you don't see any more of this plastic around anywhere. This is how the ear is gonna look once you get it covered and you can see that I've left this bottom plastic part exposed so we can glue it down. Now you are gonna have a few little stray pieces here and you can either do this as you're working or you can wait till the end, trim off some of those little pieces to get a little bit cleaner look. We'll give our little bunny's ears a trim. And we're gonna go ahead and cover both of the ears like that and then we're gonna start working on covering the body. Okay, now we're gonna be putting the moss all over the rest of our piece here and kind of in the same way that we did before. So just go ahead and glue things on there and go ahead and cover all of it. Now, do not cover this bottom part because you wanna leave a little bit of space. We're gonna be gluing this down onto something else and you don't wanna have the moss on the bottom covering it. So just go ahead and go through and apply your hot glue 
and apply your moss and get this all covered as well. You may want to paint these if the red is coming through, if you don't have enough moss or not thick enough moss or you don't want to use as much, you may want to go ahead and paint that a neutral color, uh, maybe a color that is a beigey color or a brown or something that would match more with your moss. Okay, so I've covered half of my bunny so far, but what I wanted to do is stop and show you um, a couple things. Over here, how I left a little bit of a, a ledge here. There's probably, I don't know, maybe about a, an inch or so ledge that does not have the moss on it. And then I have left the top because we're gonna be gluing the ears on, and then I'm gonna be working around to fill in the rest of it. Here are our ears and what we're going to do is take them and glue them together and on top of our bunny head. So what I mean by together, I mean we're going to put a little glue to attach them together and glue them because these don't lie flat. So you're not going to have a whole lot of flat surface. So it's good to have extra moss kind of in front and in back of the ears so that they will sort of support it. If you guys are enjoying my channel, give me a thumbs up. That would be so great. I really appreciate it. Try and come up with some good projects for you. Now what I actually am kind of doing, you can see how it works for you, but the holes in the strainer can offer a little bit of uh, support there too. And you can kind of put them, put the corner little piece here, this little edge of your ears into one of the holes. So figure out which one and then add your glue and add the ears. I do want to point out a couple of tips that I learned in the process of making this. If you're using your Gorilla Glue glue sticks, I would actually suggest that you change over to an inexpensive brand of glue sticks because you go through a lot of glue sticks in this process. So don't waste them. Um, the other thing is be prepared for big mess because this moss is really messy. So I really do suggest doing this outside and it will take more moss than what you think. So um, I actually am running out of moss. I'll need to be getting some more, but I just want to get these ears on here and show you guys and then we will go on. I'm using a lot of glue to attach my ear with. And then don't forget the glue in the center, a fair amount too, to really get those to hold. And then while those are drying, I'm just going to kind of hold them and sort of situate some of that moss in there to give it a little extra support. Kind of filling in that um, space underneath those ears a bit that is blank and empty because of the curve of the ears. And I'm gonna go around and put the moss, start putting the moss on the back side, and then we'll be moving on. I did put some extra moss here and glued it down as well as up onto the ears a little bit so that it will almost become one piece that way. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of that in the front, right in between in the ears as well, kind of from here up onto that part, just to add a little more stability so they don't fall off. So. Just before we get to this next part, I do want to mention, I haven't really talked about, if you're going to be doing the cotton balls, you're going to be pretty much using the same premise. You probably will use less hot glue because you'll be gluing on the cotton balls individually, where with this, you're kind of spreading it around and you're using a lot of the glue. Also, maybe for around the edges of the ears, you can cut the cotton ball in half and glue it on, but just see what works for you. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our little planter here and you want to weight it because this, you don't want this to tip over. I'm, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't tip over, but putting it on this planter looks really cute. And so when you put it on there, it could tip over. If it's not on anything and it's just standing freely, then you're fine. So it's up to you if you want to put it in the planter or not. If you are putting it on the planter, just weight it with some rocks. Any rocks are fine. I had these. Uh, I must have bought them at Dollar Tree at some point or somewhere for that matter. So I just went ahead and put my rocks in there. You may be able to see them inside there through the plastic, uh, but I threw it in with the bag and everything. It doesn't really matter, anything heavy. And then I just went ahead and put my hot glue around the edge of my pot and set my 
bunny right down on top of it. It is kind of easier to center the bunny if it's clear and still and not. Oh, and one more thing. So if you want, these would make really, really cute tails for the one that's made with the moss in that style, because I think being more earthy and stuff, this would be an adorable little tail for the back. You don't have to put a tail if you don't want to, and maybe yours is gonna be in a place where it won't be seen from other angles, so that's fine. But if it's just an idea, if you wanna do it, I think it'd be super adorable. At this point, if you're gonna be doing the bunny with the cotton balls, or if for this one, if you decide you want to, you can use pipe cleaners and glue them on as whiskers, and then the little pom-poms to put on as a nose, and you can either use a couple of pom-poms for eyes, or you can actually use the googly eyes if you'd like to, so it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna be using this ribbon here. I really like it, but I don't have a lot of it, and I thought I had more, but I also have this burlap ribbon. So my main bow will be made out of this burlap ribbon, and then I will be putting an extra little layer on with this one. And then, because I want it to match my pot, I'm gonna tie the bow with this one. So um, don't really think I need to do this on camera for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and show you what it looks like. And then I'm also gonna show you a picture of the cotton ball bunny and the one with the very green moss and this one with a kind of greenish brown moss. Hey Glue Dots, quick tip for you. Liz Williams was the one who made this project originally and showed it to me, and she recommends spraying your project down with a spray adhesive once you finish, whether you're using the cotton balls or the moss. This will keep the dust from settling in and all of the um, lint and random little bits of dirt and stuff from accumulating and sticking to your project. So that's the tip, give it a shot. Hope you guys try this project, it's really cute. You guys ready? All right. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. 